Hey guys, it's Joey. Are you curious about how to make salt water? Maybe you want to switch from fresh water to a salt water tank? Well, today I'll show you how to mix up some salt water. There's a couple things you're going to need. Uh, first thing I would say is you're going to, if you're mixing up your own salt water, don't bother using tap. Get a, uh, get a RDI system here. This is a four stage, or sorry, five stage uh, for BRS. This thing works great. This one is the uh, plus, so it came with the TDS meter. Uh, so definitely go ahead and get one of those if you're using tap water still. Uh, next thing, I mix mine up in a 44 gallon brute tank. Uh, you can use whatever size you're, you're comfortable with. They come in 20s, etc. Uh, and for my tank, this, this seems to be a good amount of, of water to have on hand. Second, you're gonna want a, it's some sort of power head. I have this one in here right now. Normally I use a normal power head instead of a pump, um, but the power head's in use, so I'll be using that. Uh, next, you're gonna need, this is probably one of the most critical things you're gonna need, is a refractometer. Uh, I got this one on Amazon, and I'll put that link in the description for it. If you're using one of the uh, little hydro hydrometers, uh, just throw that thing out. Uh, I measured mine once I got this. I was using that hydrometer at first. I was measuring my water at uh, 1.025 reading that and when I measured it using this, when I calibrated this, um, it was at 1.020. Uh, so it was about 0 0.005 lower than it should have been. And there's plenty of videos on how you, how you can uh, tune these and, and get these calibrated. It's pretty easy. Um, so I'll link that in the description. And really lastly, you're going to need some salt. I use Fritz Pro Salt. Uh, that's, that's the one I like the best. It mixes up pretty easy and real simple to use. So with any salt mix, your standard mix is going to be half a cup per gallon of water. So I have about 44 gallons here, about 40 gallons here. So I fill it up to about 40. Um, so I'm going to use somewhere between 30 and 40 cups. I find it's not exact because when I scoop it, I never really get an exact amount as far as one half cup. So I'll show you guys that process. First thing you're gonna do is plug in your power head, get that water cycling, and then from there you're just gonna start filling it up. I'm gonna go to about 30, 30 half cups, um, and then I'm going to wait a while for it to mix, and then I'm going to go and test it. And then if I need any more salt, I'll add it slowly. Okay, so we got about 30 half cups in there. So you're probably thinking to yourself, when do I know when I should test this? So when it's clear, it's gonna be real cloudy at first. When it finally clears up, then you're gonna test it. So as you can see, we're not quite there. We're only at 1.02, well, maybe 1.9. Uh, so we're gonna add, I'm gonna probably do about five more half cups. number two still under it all right guys there we go we're right where we want to be at 1.025 and I'll let it mix up for a little bit longer. I would suggest though, if you're gonna be using this for a water change right away, you just mixed up the water, uh, make sure you put a heater in there. Uh, otherwise it could be too cold since you're using the cold water to make RDI. And I'll just leave this for a little bit longer, mixing up. It's already at room temperature, so that's all right with me. 
and there's not much to to make in salt water so that's about it if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys next time